President Uhuru Kenyatta kicked off his official visit to the state of the Vatican City today with a meeting with his host, His Holiness Pope Francis, at the Vatican Palace. The Pope is the Bishop of Rome, the global head of the Catholic Church, and the suffering of the independent Vatican City State. Upon his arrival at the official Papo residence shortly after 10 a.m. Central European time, President Kenyatta was accorded a full apostolic palace state reception, including a guard of honor mounted by the Swiss guards. Pontifical Swiss guards are an army of 135 highly trained maskmen drawn from Switzerland and charged with the responsibility of protecting His Holiness the Pope and guarding the Apostolic Palace. The colorfully attired soldiers are devoted Roman Catholics who form the world's smallest army. After the formal state reception ceremonies, President Kenyatta proceeded for a private audience with Pope Francis before leading the lean Kenyan delegation that included Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Rachel Omamo for bilateral talks with their hosts, led by Cardinal Bishop Pietro Parolin. Cardinal Bishop Parolin is the current Secretary of State of the Holy See and runs the Secretariat of State and Diplomatic Service of the Vatican City State. The two delegations discussed several subjects of mutual interest between Kenya and the Holy See, among them education, health, regional peace and security, as well as the fight against COVID-19. President Kenyatta, who is in Rome at the invitation of Pope Francis, is making history as the first Kenyan head of state to visit the Vatican. Kenya established diplomatic ties with the Holy See in 1965. In an interview ahead of President Kenyatta's arrival in Rome, Kenya's envoy to the Vatican Professor Judy Wakunku said President Kenyatta's rare audience with the Holy Father signifies the high regard in which Pope Francis holds the Kenyan leader.